Starting and stopping, and that, that is a big important part of metal if you want to play very tight and sound like you're a tight guitar player, is to not have everything, the strings ringing and noises going. And this is the hardest, most difficult song for me live to play, to make it tight and quiet in between. And it's, it looks like a very easy riff, but if you turn an amplifier, a Hughes and Kentner core blade, up very loud, uh, you're going to get uh, a lot of ringing and noises from this. So this is a good one to work on. And here's a trick that sometimes in the studio, depending on the guitar you use, uh, this is always a good trick in the studio, and that is to take, what do you call it in German, uh, masking tape we call it. It's like white tape. Uh, it's, it's easy to rip it off, you know, it's they have it for kids' posters and stuff. But you take the tape and you put it across the top right here, and you put it underneath and bring it back. So you basically, you put tape around the top and bottom of this because that noise rings in the studio it rings through your amplifier very loud on riffs like this so we tape that down in the studio you, you can hear it now ringing through it does that on almost every guitar um, but this riff has a lot of stopping and stopping in very very short time So right now, I am completely killing, stopping the sound with my right hand in between these, eh, 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 those things. With this hand, you can watch this one here. You always see this going down like that. Um, and I'm killing the sound on this hand by putting my hand down. But the noise you're hearing, you're still hearing noise in between, is coming from there. To get rid of that little noise, in the studio, a lot of guitar players will just, something like this, take a piece of tape, and they'll just put a little tape down on there. There, it's gone. Okay, this is Operation Annihilation, the chorus. And that is, thing I showed you before. And then this, the other guitar player, Dave, goes one, two, three frets up and goes. So again, that's a trick you can use when writing your own riffs. You can steal my. <laughs> there you go. Steal Jeff's riffs. 1A and 1B. No, in the studio, uh, that's the good thing about the, the computer technology. Of course, you can go in and if there's noise, when you're starting and stopping, if there's like, you know, 500 milliseconds or whatever of noise in between something, you can go and spend time and uh, sit there with a the computer and take out the noises. That's, that's one of the great things about computer technology. Um, noise gates are a little different because no matter what anybody says, they do take away some of the quality of the, of the sound. So it's best to not use it in the studio, but um, live you, ha you have to... Drop my pick. My Jim Dunlop one millimeter nylon pick, um, which is a key to my picking sound when it touches the Ernie Ball 946 strings on the Gibson Epiphone signature Jeff Waters series guitar that's out in June, two th or May, May, I think. All right, that's going through the Hughes and Kettner core blade. But uh, live, of course, you have to use one because when you're playing in the basement or at your rehearsal space or you're at a club, a local club, or you're on a big arena anywhere in the world, each of the different uh, places, power systems that you plug into, um, as we talked about that, that one club that I, I played at and you've played at before, uh, where there was a lot of noise. Sometimes the lights can create a big buzzing sound through your amp and sometimes it's just bad power or there's a, an airport or a radio tower, a television satellite a tower near you. So a noise gate's important for bands um, and uh, 
The cool thing about the amp that I'm using now, the core blade, is that it has it built in. And uh, you can adjust how quickly it works. And uh, that's an important thing. So you have to have that on while well, touring. There's no, no way you can get away with it. Otherwise, kids are going to hear coming through your amplifier, right? 